Today, we're gonna to show you a technique on how to stop tinnitus, or you can pronounce it tinnitus. Now, this technique was not developed by me. It was developed by a Dr. J. Stratum. And I did a video on this about four or five years ago, yet many people have never seen it and they can't find it. But I wanna quickly just share a few of the success stories from this video. And these are just right in the comments. So check this out, the first comment. I've had ringing the ears for years. This morning was real bad, and I just found this video. I immediately tried it. Instant relief. It's not completely gone, but I do feel better. Next one. I've had problems with this for years, having worked for many years as a musician with loud groups. I rated my right ear as a five before the experiment, and after four repetitions, I could not perceive any difference. However, after eight reps, the volume of tinnitus in my right ear has diminished somewhat, and the top searing end of the pitch has gone completely. Gives me hope. Thanks for the video. Here's another one. I've had ringing in my ears for at least 10 years. I swear, I went from a seven or an eight to a two or three after doing this routine three times. All right, here's another one. Oh my God, I've been having 24 seven ringing for three plus years. This lessened the ringing after the fourth round. I'm going to keep it going. Thanks. All right. And here's just one more that I have to share with you. I could honestly cry. This actually helped me. I was just about to lose my mind and start panicking. And it actually went away. Thank you so much. All right. So very simply, what is tinnitus? Well, it's a perception of hearing a noise when there isn't any noise. And so the Latin word for tinnitus means to ring. And the Latin word for noise means Nausea, disgust, discomfort, hurting, injury, and damage. So tinnitus can be actually devastating if you're constantly hearing this high-pitched ringing or sound in your ear. And it can go beyond a minor annoyance and be a major situation that can literally just destroy your life. So let me explain this technique. Tinnitus really is not a problem in the ear itself. It's a problem within the nervous system that connects to the brain. So you have these receptors in your ears that are receiving sound waves, and then your ear converts those vibrations into electrical impulses that are then interpreted by the brain as certain pitches. So there's a main nerve that connects the inner ear to the part of the brain that interprets sound called the auditory cortex. And that nerve is called the eighth cranial nerve. So I'm going to show you how to reset the nerve and turn off the noise. Now, I did modify this technique slightly, okay? But I put a link down below of the person who developed the technique so you can get more data if you want. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tapping with your fingers. You're going to take your index finger over your middle finger, okay? I'm not going to flip you off, but... And you're going to be like snapping them like this, okay? on the back part of your skull. Now there's a little ridge in the back part of your skull that's called the occiput. And if we take a line from your ear and draw it right in the back part, okay, that's where you're gonna be tapping, okay? So you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna you know, tap like, like this. You're gonna snap your fingers down and tap the back of your skull. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna send signals into the eighth cranial nerve to send it into the brain. So apparently there is some short circuiting going on or a glitch in the brain's computer. But before you do this, please, please, please rate from a scale from zero to 10. 10 being a major, major problem, uh, zero being no problem at all. So go ahead and do that right now. In fact, put that in the comments section. And then after you do this technique, then re-rate it so I can see your results. And so can everyone else. So now that you have a before number, you start tapping, you're going to just tap for 20 times, okay, 20 times. So pause the video right now as you tap the back part of your skull 20 times. Okay, now the next step is you're just going to re-rate that perception of that noise, okay? So did it decrease from the original number? Go ahead and write that down. So basically, you're going to be doing the series of tapping motions in the back of your skull and then re-rating the intensity of the noise, roughly eight times or eight cycles. Because as you read in one of the success stories, 
someone didn't see improvement until they've done it eight times. So eight times of 20 taps. Now, if you've seen any improvement doing this, okay, you're going to continue to do this every day, a few times a day until it's a zero. But let's say for some reason you don't see improvement. Well, then there could be some other cause for this because it doesn't work on everyone. And the other thing I'm going to recommend to try if this does not work is to find a product called benfotamine. I don't have a brand to recommend, but you want to take 150 milligrams three times a day. Benfotamine is a fat soluble vitamin B1 that helps to penetrate the brain. And sometimes people can develop um, problems from insulin resistance, okay? Because they have a problem with their nervous system because this condition affects the nerves, okay? And it can also affect the autonomic nerves, the peripheral nerves in your feet and your hands, as well as the nerve in the inner ear. So benfotamine can sometimes help if you have the condition of insulin resistance, and that's the root cause. So anyway, try this technique, comment down below to see how it helped you so we can all read the success stories. And if you have not seen my video on benfotamine or B1, I put it up right here. Check it out.